All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going now. Welcome back. We are back here with the BeamNG Monster Jam Destruction Series. This is our first event here in exactly two weeks. Took a short break with the series after a lot of stuff going on last week. There just wasn't a lot of time. And today's event is going to be special because after three events, we have our guest here returning to the commentary booth. Everyone, welcome Max Zamudio, Zona Monsters. Absolutely. So it's been about a month since we actually had multiple people here for commentary. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be a big one. We are out here in Detroit Ford Field. This is the first of two events that are going to be going down here. You can see the track is ready to go. We have not seen this track style in a few weeks with Tampa running Paperclip. So this is going to be exciting to see this track return. This is home of Team Scream. So we're going to have to keep a lookout for what they have planned in tonight's event. And of course, lots of action to come. Starting with the skills challenge, then getting into freestyle with our judge in the booth today and our co-commentator. And I think without any more delay, let's get right into the action tonight, here for Monster Jam in Detroit. That first truck tonight is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Straight out of the Team Scream camp here in Detroit. Let's hear it. This is Joe Foley, Axe. Joe Foley quickly became one of the fan favorites here of Monster Jam this year. Everyone loves to see what he can put together here in the Skills Challenge. We're going to see what he can do. Looks like he's getting it lined up there on that center BMX ramp. And a tough break there. That just goes to show why these chassis are not really in rotation anymore. The front end and the rear end both stick out very far compared to your typical monster truck. And that's going to deny Joe Foley of the save. Let's move it over to Max. Well, 1.5, man. Honestly, I think that's a little generous there. For Joe Foley. No offense to him, but I mean, sometimes that's just how things are going to go. Tough break. Maybe maybe he won't be able to quite get out of that bottom spot this year. We'll have to see how the next events go for Joe Foley. Let's hear who we got coming up next. Jim Kohler, here he comes straight into his hometown track, ready to throw it down. That beautiful body here, special to Detroit, and he's about to throw it down. Starting here in the skills challenge, we'll see what Jim Kohler can put together. Oh! I don't think that was exactly what he was trying to do there. We'll see what he's lining it up for right now. Looks like he's lining it up there on that container backflip ramp. Oh my goodness. He did it. The first time all year long, Jim Kohler gets a little bit of a pop there from that Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. He's still got one more hit left to go to try and prove himself here in his hometown. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Kohler and Avenger, two solid hits there. And, I mean, how about a classic Mr. Excitement Skywheelie there to end things out. One of the 
more popular moves I feel like this year. We've seen some massive scores like in Seattle from getting big moves like that. So awesome hits there for Jim Cole. And let's move it over to Max. A 4.5. It is enough for that top spot. Not the biggest score we've seen. We'll see how the rest of the night goes. Man, well, so far the action just getting started here in the skills challenge. Seen some tough breaks, but I'll tell you what. Jim Kohler, he is definitely ready for the action here tonight. And that is a great way for him to start off the action here in Monster Jam. And coming up next here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, how about this guy, Zach Garner in the wild side. Zach Garner not exactly based here in the stadium, so it's something a little bit new for him to get around there. A bit of a learning curve. What are we going for here? Interesting. Looks like maybe going for a wheelie right there. One more hit to go. A pretty average second hit there for Zach Garner. Just a bicycle attempt there, setting it back down onto all fours. over to Max here and take a look at the scores for Zach Garner. A four, ladies and gentlemen. Not enough for that top spot. Only enough for second place tonight. Well, you know what? The action here is still just getting started with Monster Jam. We have the biggest and the best drivers all still yet to come later tonight as the action ramps up with Monster Jam. Well, you heard him right. Let's see those zombie arms in the air for this guy right here. Monster Jam all-star in the sport driving for over a decade he definitely has no shortage of experience on a monster jam track Pretty solid hit there. A slap wheelie for Bari Musauer. Put your hands together and put those zombie arms up for Bari Musauer and the zombie. Two pretty good wheelies. Maybe throwing it back a little bit into those retro years there with those moves on those rear two BKT tires. Not something you see too often nowadays, but Bari Musauer made sure to get it done here tonight.
of five tonight in skills. Your new leader in the Monster Jam Great Clip Skills Challenge is Bari Moose, our zombie. Man, you know what? The action tonight, so much fun already. But we have world champions and more still to come. And Monster Jam tonight. And coming up next, speaking of world champions, you're not going to want to miss this guy. Bad to the bone. He is a five-time world champion. It's Adam Anderson, Gravedigger. Not the most convenient spot there for Adam Anderson to be in right now. Save tonight for Adam Anderson and the Gravedigger. Take a look at that. He has been shut off. It looks like there is breakage. We are going to see if he can refire because we have been seeing a lot of refires this season. It's going to be hard to do a skills challenge with a broken tie rod, though. We'll see what Adam can do here. Well, that truck is back up and running. The hood is not in the most convenient of places right now. Some classic Adam Anderson driving right there. That incredible save on the first hit and that awesome combo on the second attempt. What do you have to say there? for that awesome run by Adam Anderson. Absolutely living up to that Anderson last name. It looks like there might be some issues there. Looking at that front end, that truck is not dry uh, or leaning the way it's intended to. Maybe some suspension issues. We'll see if he can get that truck ready to go for freestyle later. Tough breaks, but an awesome performance. Let's move it to the scoreboard. A uh, six tonight, your new leader in the skills challenge, Adam Anderson, Gravedigger. Well, that was an absolutely incredible performance from Adam, putting all the action you could ask for into that skills run. It's definitely going to be hard for these next drivers to follow that up. We're going to let Max do this one. This is his classic one. You heard the man, everyone. I don't want to see any shoes. I don't want to see any socks. Get the dogs out. Wave them around. Make sure Chris Kohler is ready to go here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Now, last time Chris did the skills challenge, it did not go his plan, and he rolled it on the first hit. Looking to come back here tonight, and the team scream hometown. Chris tried to cook instead Chris grilled yeah that's a that's his saying here uh, kind of reserved by 
Terry Woodcock himself there for his grilling at the Maricopa County Fair. Meantime, here in Detroit Ford Field, Chris Kohler grilling things up with that bicycle, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe some corn dogs as well. Chris Kohler, he had things figured out. Well, let's move things over to the scores for whatever we just witnessed. A four, not enough for that top spot, only enough for fourth place right now here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, tough break for Chris Kohler. He just cannot get his footing right now, and he has just continuously been ending up really low. He's going to be back in freestyle to try and throw it down. Uh, here's an iconic name in the sport. We get ready for him to hit the track tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the boom. It's time for Flying Ryan Disharoon Shaker. Ryan. <laughs> here we go. Taking it up onto that BMX. He's ready to rock the house tonight in the Shaker. Pretty solid first hit attempt there for Flying Ryan Disharoon. One more hit to go. Absolutely correct, flying Ryan Dishroon. Maybe one of the cooler things he's done all season here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. We'll see what the fans in attendance thought when scoring that run. And the score. Flying Ryan is a five. A five tonight. Not enough for that top spot, only enough for second place, but you know what? Second place is a great place to be here in Monster Jam. Well, that was an awesome performance. I mean, Ryan Dishroon, Adam Anderson, Barmu Sauer even. We've seen some great things going here tonight as the action here with Monster Jam is getting better and better as the night goes on. And we'll pass this introduction for this next driver over to Max. Well, one thing's for sure, this man is always on the run. That's why they call him Bad Company. It's John Gordon, ladies and gentlemen, taking it up onto that center BMX ramp as he gets ready to get things kicked off tonight. Pretty nice attempt there for John Gordon. Not too special, but pretty consistent overall. Tough breakage there at the end. 
I mean, looking past the breakers, though, are we going to talk about that bicycle? That was incredible. That was just a perfect balance. Rides it all the way up that little ramp there. Unfortunately, it ends in breakage. Hopefully, John Gordon's truck will be back in one piece for freestyle. You know the crews are going to be hard at work. They're trying to get John Gordon's truck back together. They also got to manage Joe Foley and Adam Anderson. It has just been a crazy night of breakage so far. Well, aside from the talking about the run we just saw, how about we talk about some scores? A 5.2, not enough for that top spot, but it is enough for second place here tonight, something John Gordon has got to be happy to hear as he's attempting to move back up in the points series. Well, you know what? We have seen some incredible moves so far and some very skill skillful attempts like what we just saw there for John Gordon. So I have a feeling these drivers are going to need to turn that wick up to try and one-up what each driver previous to them does here tonight. On that note, your next competitor, he is your reigning world freestyle champion, Colt Stevens, Thunder Roris. Oh, he was definitely ready to transition into this first day here. Ah, oh, well, you know, you hate to see it. He was definitely trying to get that save as well. That's not how a reigning world champion wants to go out. He's going to be back for freestyle. In the meantime, let's see what the scores say for skills. A four tonight. Add him to the absolute growing pile of fours that we've seen between him and Zach Garner. And uh, I want to say Chris Kohler was a four too. We have lots of fours here tonight. Maybe some... Drivers are going to drop in placements. We'll see how it goes. Tough break for Colt Stevens. He'll be back to prove himself in freestyle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not too many competitors still left to go here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, but that doesn't mean the action is going to be lacking. They're all going to have to try even harder than the previous to one-up what each other driver does here tonight. Let's move it over to Max. Warrior Nation. Let's see, we got a lot of fans in each Monster Jam show that wear their mohawks specifically for this truck and they get their hair spray painted and everything. Definitely quite the fan base this truck has. Bryce Kenny gets to represent all of it here with Monster Jam, so that's awesome to see. And speaking of Bryce Kenny, take a look at the balance tonight. Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior take a look at the save and I think that truck is all together in one piece yes it is Bryce Kenny is back up and running he's still got another hit left to go Take a look at the balance. Oh.
Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? There is no way! Bryce Kenny, there's no way he just did that in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, Great Clips goes with Great Clips, I guess. Bryce Kenny, what a performance! Absolutely amazing. Let's see what Max has to say. <laughs> Tom Mance himself giving Bryce Kenny a 9.8 tonight, which let's take a pause here. 9.8, maybe the biggest score we have seen this entire season absolutely massive for Bryce Kenny and that is incredible I mean I thought that save was cool I guess he let those intrusive thoughts win he just threw it into that reverse backflip I don't know how anyone's supposed to follow that up we still have six drivers left to go <laughs> I am honestly speechless I mean, he did it exactly like Tom's was, too. He even did that little save at the end once he was back on those Fred 2 BKTs. It was a one-to-one -one recreation of what Tom Mentz did back at World Finals 21. Well, I don't know how he's planning to follow that up. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have a four-time world champion ready to go here on the Monster Jam circuit here in Detroit. How about this for Ryan Anderson and the son of a digger? See the way those tires lock up? It helps these drivers get a lot of precise turns in here tonight. We saw it for uh, Colt Stevens earlier, especially when he was lining it up for that hit on the pod. So maybe some changes here to the Monster Jam trucks before this event. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely making this a lot more interesting to watch as Ryan gets ready for the first hit here. Oh, a rare mistake for Ryan. He, he really was trying to save that. He even steered it to try and get some traction, but unfortunately, it's going to end up on zero BKT tires tonight. As Ryan Anderson goes on to the lid. Let's take a look at the scores. And score. Ryan Anderson is 1.4. 1.4! Even lower than Joe Foley's score. Ryan Anderson is officially the new lowest score of the night. That is tough, man. I think Ryan... Either has to get a 10 in freestyle, he's going to be dropping some placements tonight. Well, a rare mistake from Ryan. It's got to be disappointing. A tough break like that. He's going to be back for freestyle, but I know he's going to have a burning fire to try and get a good score later on, since he couldn't here in the skills challenge. Armando Castro, I don't know what happened there. I think he's still looking for his first hit tonight. Just got a little amped up there going into that turn. Let's see those bull horns, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, that took a minute here for, oh my goodness, is he going back again? Setting it down there, Armando, oh, looks like he might be a little caught on something right there.
Armando Castro there showcasing his balance there with a moonwalk off the container backflip. One more hit to go. Armando Castro, what? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for Armando Castro. What do you have to say about that run? Absolutely. Armando Castro trying us all here tonight in the El Toro Loco. Let's see what the scores have to say. A 7.5 and a 4 second place tonight in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Four competitors left to throw down here in the Monster Jam Skills Challenge tonight. And the drivers here left to go are only the biggest and the best in the sport, ladies and gentlemen. And coming up next, it's Camden Murphy. Bakugan Dragonoid. Save it, he did. Camden Murphy making sure to keep things on all four BKT tires here, if not on two BKT tires tonight. Camden Murphy, take a look at the moonwalks and the combos tonight for the Bakugan Dragonoid. A 6.5, enough for about third place tonight, which is pretty good for Camden Murphy, but these three drivers still coming up might knock him down a little bit. We'll see how it goes because the podium of the series still left to come. And this next driver, he's on like a five event streak or something of winning event, like winning competitions. He's won like two freestyle competitions and like three skills challenges in the past like five events. And he's on a streak right now, looking to maintain that streak. Who's coming up next? Corey Rummel said coming into tonight, he has some special plans here to try and make his performance stand out compared to others. I'll see what that means as we get ready to see what Corey Rummel can put together here in the Monster Jam Great Clip Skills Challenge.
first hit attempt tonight is in for Corey Rummel and the Megalodon one more hit left to go Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Rummel and the Megalodon. What? Have we ever seen something like that in Monster Jam history? <laughs> I think these drivers think otherwise. I mean, Detroit is the last standard stop that this tour is going to be seeing before the World Finals. So I guess this is when the competition really ramps up. And these drivers try and do the best they can to really grab those points. But, I mean, Corey Rummel just went above and beyond there. I don't even know what to say. What do you have to say? Ah, see, it all comes down to those scores. I mean, Corey Rummel did something we've never seen before. But we'll see if the fans thought about that or what the scores really thought. Let's take a look. A 9.7, only enough for second place tonight. Corey Rummel, I mean, I'm saying only, but that is still a huge score. Corey Rummel is really closing in on Cody Saussier and Too Tall trying to grab those points he's looking for. And Corey Rummel quickly becoming a threat here and this last stop that Monster Jam, the Energy Monster Jam Destruction Series is going to be seeing this year. Well, you know, it wasn't quite enough for a lead. I think that's a fair placement because of the fact that he didn't have an insane sidewall save like we saw from... Oh, like we saw from Bryce Kenny, I think a 9.7, a great score there for Corey Rummel. And the Megalon. Trying to get ready for our next competitor here. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's time to get loud. It's Cody Socie, Max D. <laughs> Tom Mance back in the commentator booth for another statement. He is still going, ladies and gentlemen. One more hit left to go for Cody Saussier. Well, he said he was going to drive Max D the Cody Saussier way. And I think he's doing a great job at that right now. One more hit still to go. Cody Sosier and a Max D. What a great run. I mean, still started out rough, but now the competition is just out of the roof. Just crazy. What do you guys think about that performance for Cody Sosier? For sure, some iconic Max D sidewalls as well. The real question, where do the scores lie? A nine tonight, enough for third place. Cody Socie, Max D. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, 
There's only one competitor left to go in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. And this driver, a big deal right now because he is currently your series points leader. Everyone battling to take him down from that spot. He needs to try his best to defend it. And that's exactly what he's going to do here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see Max's introduction here for this guy. David Olford coming onto the track, trying to maintain his like seven event streak by now of that series points lead. And he's gonna do everything in his power here in Detroit to hold that lead as the Monster Jam season prepares to go to conclusion after this event in Detroit show two. And a lot of pressure definitely on David Olford trying to get that world finals guaranteed invite Too Tall David Olford showing off some balance tonight in the Great Clip Skills Challenge with that beautiful consistency all the way across the middle of the Monster Jam floor. Too tall, David Olfer, and that's going to do it here for his skills challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Seven. A seven tonight for David Olfer. Not enough for that top spot. You know what, though? The points difference between Cody Socie and... And too tall right now says Cody Soshi is going to be the new series leader. So it's all going to come down to freestyle. Too tall is going to have to throw it down if he wants to hold that series lead. All of freestyle coming up soon after this short break, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go into a little intermission here. Go get a snack, use the bathroom, do whatever you got to do. But the Monster Jam action is going to be returning very shortly. So be ready because freestyle coming your way. Well, skills challenge was absolutely incredible tonight. I mean, what do you have to say after that competition? Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I think overall, I think a lot of drivers could have done better. But the drivers that did do good were probably the best runs we've seen. Like, I feel like a lot of drivers had their worst runs tonight. And a lot of drivers had their best runs tonight. And it was kind of a 50-50 split there. I will say it seems like there was an increased number of, of like drivers with better truck control like the bicycles from Too Tall and uh, John Gordon were pretty consistent. Um, I mean and the moonwalks we saw uh, throughout tonight as well. Looks like the drivers are starting to really get the hang of this dirt here. Maybe they're going to prefer what we have here in Detroit over other venues that we've seen so far this year. And, I mean, I'm saying all this now. It's all going to come down to how freestyle goes pretty shortly. Now, let's talk about that move by Corey Rummel. He said coming into this show, he wanted to keep that win streak that he's had for the past few events. And he had that move ready there on the mini flip ramp. And he went in and did that incredible move. Unfortunately, it didn't get him the win he was looking for. But, I mean, we've never seen anything like that. How did you react when you saw that? I think you're absolutely correct. I think Corey had the best moment, but... Bryce Kenny's save topped with the moonflip really set Bryce Kenny apart 
Cory Rebel not getting the one he was looking for. You know what, though? That's okay. Because everyone is ready to rock and roll right now for Monster Jam BKT Freestyle tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get your hands together because it's time for Monster Jam Freestyle. Everybody's favorite competition here. What's your favorite? Ah, we have a rebel here. Honestly, if it was if it was at every event, I'm sure everyone's favorite competition would be best trick. I mean, we saw what Tyler did when he got to do best trick. At the at the um at the superstar. <laughs> the superstar superstar. Now, Tyler's not on this particular tour this year with Adam getting the placement, but that does not mean Tyler won't be showing up later in the last event of this season, everyone's favorite event, the Monster Jam World Finals. We're going to see how that goes. But, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I think it's just about time for Monster Jam Freestyle. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, popcorn acquired here. Monster Jam Freestyle, every driver... We'll have two minutes to throw down the best freestyle run they can. And the scores will be submitted by the fans at the end of the run. And coming up first here in Monster Jam Freestyle, it's everyone's favorite rookie, Joe Foley Axe. Things are just getting started here. Joe Foley is not the kind of driver to go over first hit. Except for some weekends, I think he certainly is. But not this weekend. Some great flow so far. Oh no. Absolutely correct. Probably the biggest hair we've seen in this run so far. Oh my goodness. I mean, take a look at the balance that Joe Foley's keeping right now. Oh, just as I say that. Come on. Oh, yeah. Joe Foley with the save. Wow. Oh. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. He nails it. Time has expired. Joe oh, Foley, take a look at that ending to that Monster Jam freestyle run as he actually ends it on the side. BKT tires, what a performance we just saw for the axe. Absolutely incredible. What do you have to say? Yeah, I mean, he's only really had a few events so far, so a standout run like that is exactly what he's been looking for. An awesome performance for Joe Foley. Now, what do the scores say? Score. Joe Foley is 
in A tonight. One of Joe Foley's biggest scores so far this season. He's going to be going home happy with that as he's trying to get into the points right now. But, I mean, with this event and the next event only left to go and him getting a total of 9.5 points, I don't think he's quite going to get up there. But, hey, Joe Foley definitely throwing it down here in freestyle. And while we're on the note of Team Scream and trucks that start with A, um, we have another incredible truck here to come and also a two-time world champion max who is it <laughs> we all know his name as he gets ready here for his hometown show That full send kicking off the run tonight. Not really something we see from Jim Kohler a lot anymore. So that was pretty cool there for the Avenger. <laughs> Jim Kohler ready to go here. For his hometown crowd, oh my goodness. Oh! My God. oh! About half the time left on the clock. Are you kidding me right now? Jim, yep. <laughs> Typical Jim Kohler doing the craziest things and going over at the most embarrassing time. And you know, there's a reason he's been doing the container backflip all season. Just some rough luck there doing the mini flip. He wanted to take the chance here in his hometown tonight. It did not quite go how he wanted to, but I mean, there's no uh, comment you can make that would take away the fact that that run was absolutely incredible. What do you have to say? Very much reminded me of uh, his Superstar Challenge run. He got those two amazing saves and then unfortunate breakers there at the end. Well, you know what? Let's pass it over to the scoreboard and see what Jim Kohler got here in his hometown. A uh, six tonight. Not enough for that top spot. You know what? I think leaving 20 seconds on the clock, the judges were not too happy with that. You know what? Trying his hardest, but Jim Kohler and Avenger, not enough for that top spot tonight. On that note, your uh, would-be next competitor, Zach Garner, currently not able to make it to the track after a rough break in skills. We're still awaiting word to see if he'll be able to make it back later tonight or not. On that note, there is a competitor ready to go, and he's coming up right now. As we get ready for your next competitor to hit the track, keep in mind... We saw a lot of unfortunate breakage in skills, and it could play a part in how many trucks actually make it out here for Monster Jam Freestyle. We'll wait and see, because those crews are definitely going to be busy at work. In the meantime, let's make sure that all of you fans out there have your zombie arms in the air, because who's coming up next? Barry Moose Sour, he's ready to go here tonight. You know, two minutes, it's not a ton of time. Oh. Barry Moose Sour going over there to get the fans ready. You know, two minutes is not a ton of time. You kind of have to do 
as much as you can in such a short amount of time. So it's going to be tough here. Especially Joe Foley was able to cram so much into such a jam-packed freestyle. And Barry's going to have to try and come out here and follow up even what Jim Kohler did. Well, the action is keeps getting crazier tonight. Still about 30 seconds left to go. Time is now expired for Bari Musauer and the zombie. Oh! Some classic zombie cyclones there to end out the run after time from your Guinness World Record holder, Bari Musauer and the zombie. A 6.5, only enough for third place so far tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, some more unfortunate news. It looks like at this point in time, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger is not currently able to come out here and hit the track, which is another tough break. The crews are definitely hard at work right now. We have like three or four trucks that took some pretty serious damage and skills that may or may not be able to make it back for freestyle. Those crews are hard at work. Meanwhile, though, who's coming up next? Dog man himself, Chris Kohler, is coming up next for Monster Pod. You heard the man. You got shoes. Say goodbye to the shoes. We need to get those dogs out for the dog himself, Chris Kohler. Here on the Team Scream hometown, Team Scream has been on a rampage so far in freestyle tonight. So far, holding the top two spots in Monster Jam freestyle. Chris Kohler in the Monster Mutt looking to get things kicked off tonight. And the time begins now. This, uh, he tried to grill, instead he burned it. But you know what's really unfortunate there? Chris Kohler only completed 29 seconds of his time, which means he is not 
qualifying for a score tonight. Chris Kohler went home with a total of four points. You know that's a very tough break tonight. Yeah, well, you know, he tried his hardest. And, you know, Team Scream still doing great here between Joe Foley and Jim Kohler. He's going to be back at the next Detroit show, the last event before the World Finals. Chris Kohler's not done yet, just for tonight. Oh, boy. I'm sure everybody in the house tonight is excited for this man coming up next because there's no better way to put it here comes the boom ladies and gentlemen coming up here in monster jam freestyle put your hands together ryan nishiroon shaker Lion Ryan got a special intro there coming on from Max. Time begins now. Absolutely correct there. He's still about half the clock so far. I'll tell you what. In Tampa, Flying Ryan was definitely living up to that name. If I had to pick any place so far this year that Flying Ryan has been flying, it was definitely Tampa. Trying to make it Detroit too, I guess. About 30 seconds left on the clock. And a tough break tonight. Ryan Disher, and I mean, that was a pretty cool way to end out the run. But I'm sure it's not quite how he was looking to make things happen here. And the shaker... Ladies and gentlemen, flying Ryan Disharoon, put your hands together. What did you think about that freestyle run? I think you're correct there. It almost turned into something really cool, too. Unfortunately, just got the wrong angle, and it got the best of him. Well, you know what? Let's move things over to the scoreboard for flying Ryan. A six tonight for Flying Ryan, not enough for that top spot. Well, there's one driver that, although not on the same team as Flying Ryan, always seems to be touring with him here with Monster Jam. They're always on the same series. Their trucks both have differently set suspension in oddly similar ways. And they both have one thing in common. They are not afraid to air it out. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, always on the run, it's time to get loud for John Gordon, Bad Company.
Oh! Getting a little close to the step up there. Oh! John Gordon, take a look at the action there. Right in the middle of the track, too. Everyone had a great view of that incredible move from John Gordon. Take a look at the air now. As he still has about half the time left to go. Could have played it safe. You know what? He saw the caliber of competition we had. He knew he was going to have to take it to the next level if he wanted to have hopes of taking home that freestyle win. Unfortunately, got a little too risky, and the truck ends up on the lid. Well, you know what? Still had that incredible move in there. Let's see what the scores say. A 6.5, which, you know what, that's not a bad score at all when comparing it to the likes of Fly and Ryan and uh, even Barry Moosauer, who had lower scores than that. So a 6.5, definitely a score to be happy with there for John Gordon and the Bad Company. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the action has been packed tonight. So many awesome moments, but nothing's more awesome been a reigning world freestyle champion isn't that correct max who's coming up next No time to waste. Cold Stevens, look at the air right off the bat. goodness oh ho, ho. cold Stevens he goes for the full send and that tire I did not see that coming where even go it just traveled the entire track cold Stevens what an incredible way to end out freestyle although he only filled half the clock that was still pretty awesome what do you think Yep, definitely a, a contender there. That incredible move ending out. Cole Stevens run. What did you think about that performance? What do the scores say? A 5.5. That might be currently the lowest score so far tonight. But you know what? He left a lot of time left and a lot to be desired. Pretty fair score and a tough break. Oh boy, well, I think everybody's excited for this next driver after what happened here with Monster Jam earlier tonight, and I'm sure he's equally as pumped up to come out here and throw it down to freestyle. Who is coming up next? Ladies and gentlemen, you heard him right. Bryce Kenny, your Great Clip Skills Challenge winner, coming out here for Monster Jam Freestyle.
Bryce Kenny looking maybe for like an overall win or something. I know we haven't really been doing overalls this season, but skills was pretty awesome. And I mean, that full set definitely telling me something here about what Bryce Kenny's looking for out of this freestyle competition. Again, your leader in freestyle right now is Joe Foley in the axe with a score of an eight. Man, that Morgan & Morgan backflip really getting the best of so many drivers tonight. Just add Bryce Kenny into the uh, mix there, leaving about 25 seconds left on the clock. But you know what? A pretty good run, some huge air, and that crazy backflip there at the end. What would you think about that freestyle? I think you're correct there. Although the one thing I will say about that run is it didn't have a crazy save type of wow factor like we've seen so far tonight. We'll see how that affects the scores again. Score to be is an 8 for Joe Fully and Axe. The score for Bryce Kenny is a 5.5. Maybe the lowest score actually tonight so far. Aside from um, Chris Kohler, 0. A tough break for Bryce Kenny, but you know what? Skills was incredible. You know Bryce Kenny's going home happy tonight no matter what. Well, here's a driver that right now is not going to be going home very happy after how the skills challenge went for him. Going over immediately and going home with a score of a 1.4. Definitely not what he was wanting to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up here in Monster Jam Freestyle, who's next? Ryan's got a lot of points to make up, going home with the lowest score in the entire skills challenge. We're going to see if he's going to be able to make that happen here tonight, or not. As he gets set, setting his eyes on that BMX ramp, time begins now for Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson, I mean, you can tell he's making up for how the skills challenge went right now. Just absolutely sending his truck every which way so far. Look at that air.
Mini flip almost grabbing another victim tonight. Not Ryan though. Oh! Man, I thought he had that too. I guess the truck just wasn't agreeing with him. Time leaves about 5, 10 seconds on the clock. And he has up on the lid. You know what though? What a run! Lots of momentum, lots of energy, lots of action. What do you think for Ryan Anderson? Absolutely. And uh, you know what? He showed the difference of the mini flip, which took out Jim Kohler earlier. Ryan showed he had what it took. Incredible run. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. A uh, seven. You know what? I think that's enough for second place right now. Which is a great score there for Ryan Anderson. He's probably going to be going home happy with that after how rough skills was. But man, I'll tell you what. Ryan probably is still not so happy about how earlier tonight went. Well, right now, we have either five to seven competitors left to go here in Monster Jam Freestyle. It's, it's kind of just going to come down to how the crews are able to get things done because we had also uh, very tough breakages earlier so we're going to see if those drivers specifically Zach Gardner and Adam Anderson will be able to make it back later tonight in the meantime how about this it's the crazy bull Armando Castro El Toro Loco He almost had some cool save there, but unfortunately he couldn't get it done. And he also left about 85 seconds on the clock. It wasn't 90 seconds, so he does still qualify for a score. But that's definitely not how he was looking to end that out. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Armando Castro. And let's move it over to the scoreboard. Just about, if you uh, included that moonwalk there, it was about 20. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, a uh, 4.5, I believe your new lowest score here in freestyle. Tough break for Armando, but you know what? That's just how it's gonna be when you're leaving over two thirds of the time on the clock. Well, that's not what Armando is looking to do here to end out freestyle. We still have a few drivers left to go. The best in the business left to go. We'll see what they can do. And who do we have coming up right here? Take a look at the air right off the bat. Whoa! That might be the coolest save I think we've seen all series long. 
Or it's gotta be up there at least. Like what? Camden Murphy, what is this freestyle run we are seeing right now? And he sets it back down perfectly. Taking a ton of speed into the backflip. Camden Murphy. I mean, that backflip was not how we wanted to end out the run. But let's step aside from the backflip really quick and talk about the rest of that freestyle. What did? What a run! That's all you can really say. I mean, what did you think about Camden's performance tonight? like we've said that a lot of about a lot of drivers I mean like again some drivers have had really rough nights but like some drivers have just gone above and beyond especially here in freestyle among Ryan Joe and Cam I mean we're seeing some insane runs well let's take a look at the scoreboard a 7.9 Currently enough for second place and an absolutely great score. You know Camden Murphy's going home happy with a score like that. Okay, well here's a driver I'm nothing short of excited to see after how skills was. Keep in mind, he is going to have to really throw it down because he's trying to keep his streak of winning a competition at every event that he's held for quite a few events now. Not winning skills, it's all going to come down to this competition right here. Ladies and gentlemen, who do we have up next? Corey Rummel got that refire signal. That truck is ready to go. Pressure is on tonight for Corey Rummel. Looking to battle it out among Cody Saucier and Too Tall, and also looking to maintain that streak. So he's going to have to throw down right now in freestyle. Corey Rummel's not so concerned. He knows what he's doing. He's strapped in to that Monster Jam truck, ready to go. Looking for that freestyle victory right now. with the save it might be that time a bit of a rough landing but it looks like he actually nailed that
And he lands it. I mean, that was awesome. I doubt it felt nice, but what an end to the run. I mean, Corey Rummel, he had some one of a kind moments tonight with that front flip attempt and that moon flip and whatever else. I mean, what a run. What did you think? Wow. We're seeing a lot of best runs tonight. Well, let's pass it over to the scoreboard. And the score. Baylor Dawn is. Uh, 8.5. 8.5, your new leader here in freestyle, Corey Rummel, Megalodon. Well, a massive score. Exactly what Corey Rummel is looking for to try and get back and try and catch up there with Cody Saussier and Too Tall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, some good news after some tough breakage in the skills challenge, ready to hit the track and get some revenge. Let's hear it. It's Zach Garner, Wild Side. Oh, no time to waste here, getting right into that Monster Jam freestyle run. Zach Garner didn't get the most amount of freestyle so far this year, with how long Mike Christensen had to fill in for him earlier this season. So it's a bit rough here. Rough around the edges, I should say, but overall, I think Zach Garner's gearing up for a great run. That is the worst way you can want to end up a Monster Jam freestyle with a breakage and being completely turtle. A tough break for Zach Garner does fill enough time there to get a score let's see the scores for Zach Garner a four a very tough break for the wild side maybe the lowest score we've seen so far you know what you gotta stay on your A game and unfortunately Zach Garner not quite able to do that here tonight well on that note we are closing in on the end of the action here only a few select competitors left to go, two or three specifically. Again, it's all going to come down to how well those crews are working there behind the scenes. And give us just a second here to get back into the action for Monster Jam. Oh. As we're getting ready to gear up for those last couple competitors. Still left to go tonight. And Monster Jam Freestyle. Let's hand this one to Max. Tom Mentz. How about that introduction from Tom Mentz himself here. For the Max D Cam. Cody Saussier.
Keep in mind, Cody Sosie right now trying to grab that series lead as we're coming into the last couple of events here before the BMG Monster Jam World Finals. Oh! -ho! The exact same reaction. Time now expired for Cody Saucier. What a run for Cody Saucier. Max D. Wow, what do you think about that run? Uh, pretty similar to what we heard here in skills. I guess uh, Cody Sosier living up to that Max D name pretty well. I mean, let's talk about whatever move we saw over here. He did that cool little, it was like a midair corkscrew almost. Something we don't really see ever. Pretty awesome run and that save to top everything off. Cody Sosier showing off some special skills here. Let's move it to the scoreboard. 8.3, surprisingly not enough for that top spot here tonight. Only enough for second place, a tough break for Cody Sosier. But you know what? That's still a massive score, and Tutal's going to have to actually get a perfect 10 to hold his series lead right now. So he's going to have to try really hard, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to, but it's all going to come down to his freestyle run. As we get ready to go here, too tall David Olfert. Gotta be scared right now because after skills and after freestyle, Cody Sose and the, uh, got a massive amount of points here tonight. And I don't know if too tall is gonna be able to beat that or not. We're gonna have to wait and see because, ladies and gentlemen, it's the man they call too tall, David Olfert, Velociraptor. It's really up to the official call, but we're going to see if they want to let Tutal continue. You also got to consider from a driver perspective, Tutal wants to continue on here. And it looks like Tutal is getting strapped out of Velociraptor. That is the conclusion of that freestyle run. Just barely going to fill enough time there just barely to get a score but I mean that is a tough break let's see what the scoreboard says for that a disappointing end there for too tall David Olford A uh, three, man. You know that's not what David Olford wants. That might even push Corey Rummel above him in points.
That's a very tough break right at the end of the series right now as well. There's only one more event for points left to go. So you know that's rough, but you know what? Too Tall gave it his all, and sometimes that's just how it's going to go. He's going to be back in Detroit, too, to try and get some revenge. We are awaiting word. We may have one more freestyle run still left to go here tonight. We're just waiting that official word from the pits. And ladies and gentlemen, it is confirmed there is one more competitor left to go tonight in Monster Jam Freestyle. Well, I hope everybody's ready. Oh, there we go. Everyone knows who's coming up. There's only one five-time world champion in this field of drivers. And there's only one true black and green wrecking machine. Who is it? They don't call him an Anderson for nothing. This is the son of Dennis Anderson. He's not letting a little ragged edge action stop him. Whoa! Oh! Oh my goodness! Hold on, fans. The clock is paused at 58 seconds. What was that move? I don't even know. It looks like there is truck breakage. But this is Adam Anderson. I don't think that's stopping him. We're going to wait that official call tonight. Adam Anderson asking for that refire signal from inside of the grave digger. You know what that means, Monster Jam fans. Take a look at the ending. Is that not a classic end to a Grave Digger freestyle? Oh my goodness, Adam Anderson. What was that? I just. Wow, what a run. What do you think about that run from Adam? <laughs> and the fireworks. Ready to go here at Monster Jam as that concludes the Detroit one. What a show. Before we go anywhere, there's one thing left to determine. What is the score for five-time world champ Adam Anderson and the black and green wrecking machine grave digger? And the score. A six. Oh a six. You know. After such a hype run, I'm sure that's not what Adam was looking for. But, I mean, freestyle tonight. Off the charts, incredible action, non-stop. The amount of saves, and, I mean, from Cody Sosier's run especially. Just what an awesome night we have had here with Monster Jam. What are your final thoughts here on this Detroit Show 1? Well, I think you're absolutely correct. The crashes, the saves, a lot of uh, destruction, which is what this tour was made after. And, I mean, whatever you want to say to the end of Adam's run right there. What a show. Thank you all for coming out here.
for Detroit 1. This event could not have been any more awesome. Detroit 2 is going to be great. What are your final notes here before we end this uh, show? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Chris might have grilled, but Bryce, Bryce cooked up a full five-course meal there in the skills challenge. Came back and threw it down in freestyle. What a show. Thank you, fans, for coming out. We'll see you guys next time. That was Monster Jam Detroit 1 Round 13.